Good afternoon and welcome to More Than Meets the Eye. I'm your host, Blind Prime, and for today we're going to be covering Transformers Legacy Evolution Armada Hotshot. And I have the Transformers Earthrise Bumblebee right here for a nice little size comparison. So let's take a look. And also, let me get the Lego pad out. Lego, Lego pad, Lego, don't you? Lego pad? Thank you. Trying to be weird, Mr. Lego pad. All right, so let's take care of the Lego pad first. I haven't done this in a little bit. And I feel a little, uh, a little shame that I haven't been doing this enough. Let's see. Yep. So Hotshot here in his vehicle mode on the Lego pad is eight studs wide at his thinnest and nine studs, well, 8.5 studs wide at his thickest. He is um, in the traditional, since uh, Siege at least, uh, the traditional vehicle scale for Siege vehicles. Um, and, uh, you know, Earthrise vehicles and Kingdom vehicles and Legacy vehicles and Evolution vehicles and Studio Series 86 vehicles and Studio Series since War for Cyber... It's just the new stuff. Just the new stuff. And it's cool to have it. And like I've said before, it's a... Being eight studs wide, you can buy the LEGO road plates and have them work very well for your uh, Transformers dioramas. Because the LEGO roads are all built to handle eight stud wide vehicles. Which means that you don't need to do much to create little road scenes. And I think that's really awesome. And the LEGO roads do mix well with other objects. So that's just something that uh, if you've never considered it before, I suggest giving it a chance. Because having the... Um, you know, having those little Lego roads is very useful. Nice, solid platform to build upon. Anyway, we're talking about Hot Shot today. We're not talking about Lego roads. So let's give a size comparison of... Let me remove the star save. And we'll put Bumblebee to the side of Cliff Jumper here. Bumper to bumper. And Bumblebee is actually very nearly as long as, as a Hot Shot here. Bumblebee goes all the way up to the front of Hot Shot's front wheel and all that's missing is that bumper area so let's, let's let's look at this on the lego pad real quick lengthwise let's see so the hot shot here is boom right there all right so that's 11 12 13 14 studs long hmm. and then bumblebee's little car here his little bug mode is right there cool and we ah cream 11 12 studs long so there you have it. The Bumblebee isn't that much. Creep, that's where the Lego pad goes. Creep, that's where the Lego pad goes. Creep, creep, creep. Why do you gotta be like this, huh? Why do you gotta be like this? You know, old crazy cat. All right, so let's put the, what was that? That was the Star Saber. Let's put the Bumblebee off to the side. We'll also put the Star Saber off to the side. And now let's cover the Hot Shot vehicle mode. This is a fun vehicle. I really appreciate that the Armada line decided that it was going to try and like create some vehicles. They, they just mesh stuff together to create some unique and interesting vehicles that weren't really there before. And uh, I really appreciate that. I like that a lot more. That's, that's more creative in my opinion. Um, it's cool to have the Transformers turn into vehicles that you can see on the roads every day. But in my opinion, I think it's more interesting and more unique to have a vehicle transform into something creative that you can still say is a car that you would see on the street, but you've never seen this car on the street, you know? And that's what this guy is. That's what Hot Shot becomes. He becomes a car that you never seen on the street, but you know what? It'd be pretty cool if it existed. Yeah, that's a pretty neat little car. So let's talk about weight-wise. It's decently weighted. It's uh, definitely heavier than ER Bumblebee but it's not too weighty, that's for sure. The, um, let's talk siege ports real quick. Siege port wise, he's got one and two on either side of his spoiler, and he also has a siege port in the wheel for the uh, bazooka mode. You can actually plug some blast effects into that, and I totally forgot to mention that when I was doing earlier stuff. See, I got this little gun right here from the <laughs> From the Bumblebee uh, G.I. Joe crossover, and it fits pretty well in that little spot. The other side does not have such a port, though. I think that is a missed opportunity. They could have put the port in both sides, and that would have been cool. Uh, that way you could have had either side 
give out explosions. Or, you know, like a bazooka, you could have the back end give out a fiery explosion and the front end give out a missile or something for blast effects. Yeah, that would have been neat. But you can still hot glue a blast effect into that big area if you want, or use sticky tack to hold it in. So that's the amount of siege ports. There's, there's really not that many for this vehicle mode. There is one siege peg on the back end here, but it's in a weird position and it's very hard to get anything to fit there. Though, you can take, we got the Energon from the uh, Target exclusive red cock. There you go. Yeah, you can put the Energon pillar right there. Now he's got a, like an antenna or something. You can use it to drive him around. Yeah, hey, that works out well. You can do wheelies with that. Mm, nice. Just set that off to the side. So, it rolls very well, like cars should. It's got a neat engine on the front. And we'll talk about the sculpt work and molding right now. And uh, yeah. so at the very front, we got a nice little grill. It's sculpted decently well. And we've got a hood that's decent as well. There's no sort of emblems. I do miss that. I think it'd be cool if they put on like a little fake emblem or something. Something that you could actually feel with texture, like an Autobot symbol on the hood or something like that. That'd been cool. The, um, you got little headlights sculpted in there on either side. It's a decent little racer. And he's got this really crazy engine that's poking out the top of his hood. It's got these two little guns on the end of it. I think this guy, you guys, an aggressive vehicle. That's why I think he's a mixer of hot shot, cliff jumper, and bumblebee. You know, he, he's aggressive, but he's also friendly. You come over here to the sides. We got these nice little door skulls. Neat little feature about these doors is that you can, I think, actually open them. Let's see. <sighs> Not nuts. Yeah. It's in there in the transformation. But you can move things around to actually you know, like slightly untransform this guy to get those uh, doors out. So you can have a scene of like the door opening. But there's nothing on the inside to make it look like the inside of a car. So be aware of that. And uh, come down here. The, uh, the back of the vehicle does extend out just a bit more than the front. Just a bit. Like 0.5 worth of a stud. Only. And um, you can get some nice little textures going on there. I do say that the, the hubcaps on the front of the vehicle are really nice. I do appreciate both of those hubcaps. On the back, uh, I this one that does, you can't fit anything in is okay. But then this one that you do fit stuff in, um, I don't really like it so much. Uh, I, I like the fact that I can plug some siege effects into it, you know, some guns and maybe blast effects. But it also has a texture of one of those, uh, it just it, it feels sloppy. That's all. Um, but then again, that's just it. Now, I do think it's pretty neat that they actually went went ahead and textured the uh, wheels. That was a cool feature that was you know, fairly noticeable. And uh, it is neat that the front wheels are very thin and the back wheels are very thick, you know, showcasing more of this Roadster-style attitude that he has. Um, he's a rear-wheel rear wheel drive car that does a lot of oomph, that's for sure. Now... We've got uh, you know, nice little sleek lines everywhere. This is a very smooth lined vehicle. I do like the the windshield. Um, I think it's just such a nice little vehicle. It's even got those little uh, those little slatted bits on its back windshield, but not all the way across its back windshield. Like they 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 miss the texturing at the top of the back windshield. That's a bit weird. It may be colored differently, but there's still. No slats in what I would expect to be the, you know, back windshield. Uh, they, there are some down the back side, though. It's very odd. Very weird. Uh, on the underside, we've got a lot of robot kibble going on, uh, but not too much. It's decently. It feels all right. And, um, yeah, that's just about it for your hot shot here. He's an excellent little vehicle. He's solid. You know, nothing, nothing wiggles. Once you get this guy together, he is together, and I really appreciate that. He's been, he's had a great transformation. He's robot mode, as uh, it, it's lacking in some regards, but overall, it's a decent robot mode. And the um, the vehicle mode here is is excellent as well. It's a very nice vehicle. It fits within the standard scaling of all the other vehicles that we've had. Um, I'm gonna give this. Armada Hot Shot, a per, you know, not a perfect grade because I think there's still, you know, it didn't wow me. It didn't, it didn't 10 out of 10 wow me, but it definitely 8 out of 10 wow me. Okay, so I'm giving this guy an 8 out of 10 overall rating. He is an excellent robot 
the decent transformation that had some cool stuff apart you know that it did some neat things like the wheelie did some neat things and i appreciate that and then the vehicle mode is a decent vehicle mode it just doesn't have any wow aspects to it there's nothing that folds out and becomes something cool you know uh so you know the vehicle mode just gets an eight out of ten you know it does its job but it doesn't doesn't wow me but neither does it upset me at all and you know, everything about this thing is above average but below perfect so that's uh that's my opinions on transformers armada hotshot i personally i can't wait to get more armada stuff in the transformers evolution line i am looking forward to the megatron i am looking forward to the optimus prime rumor i am looking forward to what they what what they have to give me um uh, i've always wanted something from armada so this is this has just been you know, ecstatic this is going to be a good year for blind prime i tell you that right now i am loving this year so far i just hope that the world can stay together long enough for me to get you know my death source that's what i want i don't know about the rest of you bring me my death source quicker thank you for watching today's video and please tune in tomorrow oh wait not tomorrow no, i don't think i'm doing anything tomorrow Please tune in next week where um, I'm going to find something else to review for you. I don't have really have anything lined up, but I have been thinking about doing a Colossus versus Colossus off, where I where I compete the Toy Biz Colossus, the uh, Hasbro Marvel Legends Colossus, and then the Build-A-Figure, the uh, Age of Apocalypse of Colossus together and see which is the best Colossus. I'm thinking about doing that Monday, so we'll see if I can... Uh, convince my uh, my friend to bring me his colossuses colossi yeah i'm gonna say colossi all of you say colossuses that's just weird it makes your jaw a little too much i say colossi it sounds cooler and it sounds distinct yeah thanks for watching